Paradoxical laughter is an exaggerated form of humor that does not align with the context of the situation. It manifests as uncontrollable, often inappropriate laughter that can be a symptom of mental disorders like mania, hippomania, schizophrenia, or schizotypal disorder. Highlighting an unstable emotional state, it can transition rapidly to anger and back. Often in response to minor external triggers, paradoxical laughter may arise even in situations typically associated with stress or fear. This form of laughter is continuously noted as a common emotional and cognitive symptom in diagnosing schizophrenia. It is closely connected to the symptom known as inappropriate affects, emotional responses that don't fit the situation or which contradict the person's spoken desires, for instance. Experiencing happiness upon hearing about the death of a loved one might be viewed as paradoxical laughter, accompanying inappropriate affect. In addition to paradoxical laughter, inappropriate affect and schizophrenia can involve unexpected outbursts of aggression, sudden sadness, or abnormally odd behavior. It is traditionally categorized as a negative symptom of schizophrenia and measured in diagnosis using the SAN scale, however. This traditional distinction has been challenged. Previously, paradoxical laughter and other abnormal emotional expressions were key characteristics of disorganized schizophrenia one of five subtypes previously identified in the DSM-IV. However, these subtypes are no longer recognized in the most recent version, DSM-V 2013. Interestingly, most clinical research reports a higher prevalence of blunted rather than inappropriate affect in people with schizophrenia. Notwithstanding, numerous studies have documented paradoxical laughter as a recurring symptom tied to the condition accounts of paradoxical laughter and schizophrenia date back to the 1940s and early stage patients often reported using laughter as an outlet to ease mental tension. Current research has specifically found inappropriate affect during the early stages of the illness, with paradoxical laughter being especially prevalent in the phase following the onset of schizophrenia. There was a considerable negative correlation between the age of onset and the likelihood of developing symptoms of inappropriate affect, particularly early onset patients exhibited a significantly higher rate of inappropriate effect. 87.5 compared to later onset patients, 413. This correlation being especially stronger for male patients. Schizophrenics impaired capability to recognize facial expressions affect their ability to communicate and connect effectively with others. This difficulty can result in inappropriate emotional responses, which has been similarly found in autism spectrum disorder. This suggests that both conditions may be part of one spectrum. Studies also indicate a significant correlation between low scores on emotional recognition tests among schizophrenics and prevalence of improper social and sexual behaviors. These low scores were associated with poor interpersonal relations and limited community engagement, suggesting deficits in emotional attunement even after accounting for intelligence and severity of illness. A strong correlation is still observed. Various methods have been employed to measure this inappropriate emotional response, including precise facial muscle observations. These studies have found schizophrenics to display a greater diversity and inconsistency in their emotional expressions compared to controls groups. These expressions became increasingly less emotive as the trials progressed, indicating the presence of blunted emotional response. Functional MRI techniques used to measure brain activation have been used to investigate these emotional deficits further. One such experiment involved patients reacting to and interacting with emotional facial stimuli. The tasks involved either matching the correct emotion to a given expression or labeling an emotion linked to a target facial expression. Schizophrenics showed significantly less activation in specific brain areas compared to the healthy controls, providing one possible explanation for their difficulties in recognizing facial expressions. This broad range of findings supports the notion that emotional recognition deficits could be at Key feature of schizophrenia. The story's theme revolves around the genetic determinants of brain irregularities linked to emotional anomalies, as demonstrated by the diminished regional brain activation in unaffected siblings in contrast to healthy peers with similar principal attributes. This indicates that these brain abnormalities associated with inappropriate emotional responses are genetically predisposed and have a modest impact on the families of individuals diagnosed with schizophrenia.